everybody! So in the last video you saw basically the start of this illness, basically uh, in summary I was, I thought I was healthy, I was at a wedding, having a great time and uh, then I just all of a sudden got really sick, couldn't walk well and then eventually ended up going to the emergency room. And this video is all about uh, the hospital stay and uh, things like that. So I'd never been to the emergency room before, and honestly, um, I thought I'd go, they'd draw blood, give me some painkillers, and tell me to go home. But that's not what happened, they poked and swabbed and x-rayed, took samples, everything, it was very, very, very overwhelming. They wanted to give me an IV for fluids, the first time I ever had an IV, I just kept shaking and crying and saying I shouldn't have come here, and can I go home and drink lots of water bottles instead, and uh, I didn't win that one. Uh, I, I took, I got the IV for the first time, and eventually I called a friend and sort of settled down. Um, eventually the doctors decided to admit me for a low platelet count, and uh, the doctors still aren't sure of the disease, lots of tests, uh, but the doctors are confident that I'll get better, so I've been very tired lately. Maybe after this I'll get over my fear of needles, seventh time they took blood and counting, Fourth day in the hospital, still don't know what I have, just more tests, really kind of nervous, send positive vibes. Uh, so essentially we had some answers. Uh, doctors think I'm recovering from the sometimes fatal disease, um, could be Rocky Mountain spotted fever, could be really anything, they're not sure yet. Um, they did find that I have thyroiditis. Um, which is a lifelong autoimmune disease, but not too worrisome. I just kind of might have to take medicine. Um, and we still don't know what's causing my platelets to be really low. Uh, so still pending more and more and more tests. Um, hi peeps, Nubi and I are getting a bone marrow biopsy tomorrow. I'm not religious, but if you are send prayers, I hate needles, don't really want to talk about it. Uh, just sending an update, pretty, pretty, pretty nervous. Um, that was really scary, the whole bone marrow biopsy concept. Um, but I survived the bone marrow biopsy, really scary operating room, you can hear them drilling into your bone. Uh, I feel okay, things are always scariest the first time. Before I went in, the nurse said, we need you to stop crying. Uh, so I did. But, um... Now we are bone marrow champions. Uh, and who knows, maybe I'll be better tomorrow, but I just submitted medical long-term leave with my job. I haven't been to work in a couple weeks. Happy Thanksgiving, peeps. Didn't get the news I wanted this morning, but we're still just waiting on tests. I'm thankful for not being in critical condition and still having a functional mind. The nice nurse covered my IV in a skin-covered bandage so I don't have to look at it. I hate IVs. Uh, all positive vibes appreciated. Definitely didn't get the news I wanted. My friends are pretty up to date on what's happening. So a friend that I've had since I was five drove eight hours from Pennsylvania, skipped her own family's dinner so I wouldn't be alone for Thanksgiving. Uh, Thanksgiving's my favorite holiday. It meant a lot and it really helped. Day 7 in the hospital, still don't know what's wrong, but now on steroids, so my energy is a little higher. Uh, for someone that hates needles, I've had blood drawn 16 times and probably been poked at least 20, and still more and more to go. Getting a little more used to IVs, still getting lots of steroids. Nothing much to share today, just running more tests, no significant health improvements or declines. Day number 8. Family's in Pennsylvania. Uh, most of my friends are in Pennsylvania. I'm currently in Charlotte, uh, so I've been really fortunate to have um, one friend in Charlotte be my be my MVP and um, visit me almost every day. Uh, so a huge, huge, huge shout out to him. He always brings snacks. Um, all positive vibes appreciated and prayers. I'm not religious, but getting pretty nervous and scared, so all good vibes are appreciated. Doctor said I'm not healthy enough to go home, but we're still just waiting on tests. Day nine of unknown illness. We've tested for viruses, autoimmune diseases, cancers, lots of them, most negative, 
My bones and blood look like a 70 year old. They're not sure why, but they think it's been a lifelong issue triggered by the original virus that I had last week. We hope to have affirmative results Monday night. Pretty nervous for the results. Nothing's confirmed, so trying to stay calm, but um, I've been here for a while and a lot of the things that they thought I could have that weren't so bad, um, I don't have and it hasn't gotten better yet so now we're considering a little more uh, scary things. <laughs> so um, just to keep me up to date, one of the doctors said uh, that right now we're looking into if I have um, Myelodysplastic syndrome. Um, I think that's how you say it. Uh, it's like a form of pre-leukemia. Um, when you Google it, it, it doesn't look the best. <laughs> so it's uh, a little scary uh, to be told that. You know, I think you only get told that you have a form of cancer with. Um, relatively low life expectancies so many times in your life um, <laughs> lots of process but I'm just trying to tell myself that nothing's confirmed uh, hopefully the tests will come back in a couple days so that's my update <laughs> again thanks for all of your support so over the last couple weeks, cancer has been on and off the table. We still don't know for sure, but after recent tests, doctors are backing off from cancer again and have higher hopes that I'll recover in some time.